in Bungie's next game. We're combining the rich history of Marathon with a PvP extraction shooter where players get to be part of the narrative. I think that's just going to be a magic formula. <laughs> in Marathon, you are a runner and you're exploring the hostile world of Tau City 4, looking for mysterious artifacts, implants, and weapons for your runner that are just gonna make your character stronger. You make the best things on the shoulders of giants. And in our case, those giants are Halo and Destiny. The team's been leveraging 30 years of experience and innovation and passion to create Marathon. So in Marathon, you're a runner. A runner is a cybernetic mercenary. They're this combination of fashion and sci-fi and cyberpunk. They're just so cool. You're gonna be able to both visually represent yourself in really interesting ways, but then also there's gonna be gameplay modifications, which is gonna be awesome. And it means that you and the other two people on your crew can pick your different play styles. I think the runners are gonna be a really great way for our players to shape their gameplay. Tau Ceti is a very vibrant and dangerous world. We wanted to make sure this world pushed back on you in the right amount. You're gonna drop into persistent zones. You never know what you're gonna find or who you're gonna face. You're trying to get out alive and so is everyone else. Are you serious? <laughs> we're combining the best of that bungee touch and feel gameplay but we're adding that incredible tension and these emotional highs and lows. We want that kind of just surprising, dangerous mystery. Imagine going into this basement of one of the colony buildings and it's like flooded with water, murkiness. It's too quiet. Just the sloshing of your footsteps around the corner, you see some beam of green light. And you're like, oh no, what is that? Marathon is a game where you're always one run away from greatness. You might find like the sick loot in this corner. You might find the compiler in that corner, but every choice you make matters. It's great to see some of those moments in the world that just kind of naturally happen as players collide. What runners are doing is gonna be that exciting narrative that unfolds over the course of a season. Who knows what's gonna happen, but imagine if one crew happens to find an alien key. They place it on this altar, and then they get memorialized for opening up the next zone. And they have to go and figure out how to then unlock that for everybody else. There's a lot of ways to feel like you can win this game. Obviously, getting out alive is the primary one. You can win by getting out with the most artifacts. Each piece of an artifact you find in the world combines into creating bigger, more valuable artifacts. I've had a run where I've got all the pieces to get a prime artifact. I could get out, I could win. And then I hear gunfire in a building nearby and I know I just need one more piece to get that prime. And that's a decision that we want players to have to make. You can choose to engage the other team, you can choose to just find the artifact, and then you can choose to just get out. I am down. I actually shared an exfil with someone they started shooting me and I'm like, okay, <laughs> like, I downed them and then I let them go. And that's the point, like I yeah. could play any way I want. She demonstrated her power and then she let them go. <laughs> There's just so many different ways you can be famous or infamous. Did you help somebody who really needed help or you became world's first because you unlocked the zone or you are the best runner in the world because you've climbed the leaderboard all the way to the top rank and everybody knows it. The art style of Marathon is graphic realism. Bold, colorful, stylized art. It's vibrant, it's beautiful, but also mysterious. It's familiar, but also strange. We're really trying to find the right mix of beauty and mystery. When I jump into the game, I'm just like running for my life, but at the same time, I'll be like, oh, this bush is so beautiful. Oh, look at that building, oh my. Because we're targeting this like very bold style, it's a balancing act to figure out where do we dial it to 11, where do we dial it back to 6, and which objects and which elements of the world do we really want to highlight. It's something fresh and sort of uncharted territory. 
With Marathon, Bungie is very clearly focusing on PvP, and so from the ground up, the integrity of the experience has been absolutely critical. And it was non-negotiable that Bungie was going to be investing in dedicated servers for Marathon, Disconnect Recovery, and Fog of War. Like, without those elements, none of this matters. So we actually have a dedicated team in charge of security and making sure the game like is, is as fair as possible. Marathon's going to be releasing on PS5, Xbox Series X, and S, and PC, and it's going to have full cross-save and cross-play. We are marching towards our alpha, which is really exciting. We wish we could show you all the cool stuff that we're working on right now, but we can't do it just yet. After this announcement, we are going to go dark for a while, for an extended period, while we focus on developing and playtesting the game. Oh, I got one. Oh. Next time you hear from us, we're going to be much closer to release, and we will be ready to reveal gameplay. You are being thwarted all the time, and you've got to adapt. At the core, it's what it means to be human. I was just going to say you shoot people and take their stuff. <laughs> that was way better than I was going to do.